going to show you how to post a customer down payment in SAP S4 HANA system. My name is Nundish and I've been working with SAP since 2001 with my main focus in finance. I work as an SAP FICO contract. In case you want to reach me out for products, please find my link D9D in the description of this video. If you are just now reaching to this channel, its name is SAP at Eggmans and the aim is to share SAP knowledge. Therefore, do not forget. Subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. My dear audience, I would like to make you a request to help us to reach the first 1,000 subscribers. At the moment, we have more than 10,000 views and 250 subscribers. Can you please help us to scale this balance by subscribing to this channel? Here, we deliver high quality content on this channel. I use my free time to produce these videos to share SAP for free. I think it is fair enough to ask your contribution to share SAP knowledge. How can you do that? Pretty simple. You just need to subscribe to this channel. You can also share this channel within your network. Let's reach to the 1000 subscribers. <music> In this video, I'm going to show you how to post a customer down payment and we are going to see the customizing to see where the reconciliation account is coming from. And now without any further ado, let's start and let's go to the system. Now we are in the SAP Gui menu. So this is pretty simple how to reach to the transaction code. We go to the accounting, accounting, financial accounting, account receivable, document entry, down payment and then we have the down payment f f minus 29 the transaction codes i'm not showing the fiori app today in this video because for some strange reason i don't have the fiori app installed in this uh for some strange reason the fiori app is not installed as you can see i have the fiori app for the post vendor down payment which is exactly the same thing as we have in sap -B. Uh, this is an emulation of this transaction code. It's not a new transaction code. So let's start from the top, the header of the document. I'm going to put here a previous date by, by the 20 of these months. Also the 20 of these months. And then document type, we accept the DZ. And then we are going to put BRL and our company codes. So here in the account, and we are going to insert our customer, which is this one. And then the special ledger indicator is going to be A, down payment, as we see in the previous video in the configuration. Now I'm going to choose my bank accounts. And I have also to choose here the tax reporting. This is regarding to this company code. It might not be necessary for your case. So here I'm going to say oh, how much is the down payment that uh, I demanded to my Client, I demanded to my client 5,000 BRLs. Uh, value date, I'm going to also to be consist, consistent and I'm going to put here 20 no bank charges and we are going to make a press in the enter. Pressing in the enter, I'm going to put here a star and then I'm going to put the one, um, uh, for example, 21st. Okay, now I'm going to uh, click here and then this is what is going to happen. We are going to save our posting. Now I'm going to display our posting. I go to the document then display and then it will pick up this posting. So if you are enjoying this video as me doing it for you, please make a big like to us. <coughs> so now we have our down payment posted. We can see here that it's a customer payment, the document type, this is my user, transaction code, and so on. You can investigate yourself. But what I wanted to show you is, is here the line 19. When I'm going to double click to get inside, which is my customer, if you see the GL account, so this is not the GL account that we have in the customer master data. So this is my business partner, which is the same name as the customer. And then we have this reconciliation account which means that we have posted a, a special ledger transaction, which is getting this general ledger account. So basically where this is coming from, this is what I want to show you. So if in the previous video we have made the configuration, 
we have chosen this i so this account is coming from me so this is my reconciliation account the system automatically is putting this account so we have not finished yet now we have to create the invoice and uh, make the clearing of the down payment with invoice if this video was useful for you please make some comments Now you know how to post a customer down payment in SAP S4 Running System. Thanks for watching this video. You can find the next video in the description of this one. Please do not forget subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. See you in the next video.